31 teams are gathered in a downtown bar in Phoenix on a Friday night, and they're all getting ready to do a crazy weekend of filmmaking. And at this point, they don't even have a script written. They don't even know what the movie's going to be about. But in 72 hours, they're going to turn in this film. It's called the Almost Famous Film Festival. And it's a three to eight minute film that they're gonna put together. And this time it's around a theme of a musical moment. It could be singing, dancing, but it has to be original and creative. And at seven o'clock, they announce the rules. They have number one, you have to have a broken promise as your theme. Number two, the line, let me, give me a second to think about it, has to be said and it has to be verbatim. And number three, someone has to toss a coin. So my friend Webb Pickersgill is a, a filmmaker and also a great bass player. He calls me and says, uh, he's putting a team together, can you write some songs and record them overnight? And I say, uh, yeah, what, yeah? So sure, I'll do it. And uh, he puts together this great team of Diane Dresback as the director and Bob Marquis is the editor. These guys have all won Filmmaker of the Year from the Phoenix Film Festival, so it's a great team. And uh, so we go back to their house and start brainstorming the ideas. And someone says, uh, coin toss. Hey, I got a friend that has a trick coin that you can put a chip in. And we start thinking about this corporation that takes coins out of fountains and makes them come true called Wish Incorporated, where every wish matters. So we start this film with a, uh, a tr campy training video where a little girl tosses a coin in the fountain, check that off the list, and um, wishes for a scooter. And to go along with this, I started coming up with ideas on my acoustic guitar and lyrics, and I, I think that the, uh, in this training video, a real circusy, campy song uh, with all the employees singing it about we make wishes come true, uh, just toss your coin and make your wish. And, um, the trick was getting everyone to sing it. And this is Hope. Hope is our main character. And she's introduced and she's just thrilled to be making these wishes come true. And she's approving every wish that comes through. But then the plot thickens when she meets, dun, 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 the wish master. The wish master says, we're not in the business of granting everything. We grant wishes. And if you, can you comply with our uh, our, our morals or not, and she says the mandatory line, give me a second to think about it. So we can check that off the list. And we can check off broken promise as a theme because every wish apparently doesn't matter. This is Stephanie, she's singing uh, in the film and she's actually singing. We didn't get professional singers. I wrote the songs in the wee hours of the night on Friday and then everyone gathered around my piano on Saturday morning so that we could put this all together and, and then record it in my, in my studio. And um, as far as the music and, and everything, I've been loving to write songs, doing songwriting since my early hair band days in the 80s, and when I moved to Nashville to be a cowboy in the, in the 90s. But I'm, I'm no virtuoso, but I can play a whole lot of instruments enough to do songwriting, and it's, it's, been, a, it's been a blast doing that. And for this song, I did all the instruments, but all the singing was actually done by the actors in the film. And um, I had to get everything recorded. Keep in mind, we started Friday night, so Saturday morning we had to have everything roughed out so they could actually lip sync to the, to the songs while they're filming it on Saturday morning. And as, as Hope is finishing up her line of the one song, uh, uh, wishing won't change the world, she has to make a big decision. Does she follow her heart or does she follow protocol? And so we go into the third song, which is actually a mashup of the first two. And it's a very uh, slow ballad with a soloing violin where it's a question and answer where George talks about his despair and Hope talks about hope. And it ends with her saying, wishing won't change the world, but I will. And then throughout the rest of the weekend, I'm able to finish up recording and mixing and everything for the editor to get it in. And then, uh, oh, I did take some spare time to body paint the gold statue, but that's another Ignite presentation. I'll tell you about that later. So um, it's actually five years ago this month that it was uh, screened at the Arizona Center, at the film, uh, the theater down there. 
And uh, you can see that we're pretty happy to be involved in this, but we're really happy when we find out that we came in third place overall, second place audience favorite. We had the best script, and we also had uh, best use of a prop. And it's great to see your name on the screen and everything, and to get these laurels to add to your movie posters is awesome also. Uh, but we took the winnings and actually invested that into other film festivals and got to screen it at uh, Phoenix Film Festival and even in Canada. So who wants to see the film? Mind, mindclover.com. Go watch it. Thank you. Thank you.